now here we will see about uh, suction and delivery heads of centrifugal pump now this is a basic diagram representation of centrifugal pump so as you can see this is the actual pump part and from here it will go with this through the eye of an impeller there is one suction pipe which is connected to the down and there is one delivery pipe which is connected to up now here we have a stainer then we have a foot wall and from here the water is going to be lifted through this and it will lift it up to this overhead tank now there are few things that we should understand number one HS that is suction head and the next one it is delivery head so as you can see the suction head it is a distance like a vertical distance between the level of water up to the center of an impeller and from the center of an impeller to the water of level that is HD that is delivery head so this is regarding suction head and delivery head so we will see what is meaning of it now at a low pressure at a suction side of the pump it may cause the fluid to evaporate with a reduced efficiency and it can cause the cavitation and this cavitation damages the pump as a result so the vaporization starts when the pressure in the liquid is reduced to the vapor pressure of the liquid at actual temperature to characterize the potential for boiling and cavitation the difference between the total head on the suction side of the pump close to the impeller and the liquid vapor pressure at the actual pressure temperature can be used so what is the suction head now suction head is given by simply this formula hs is equal to ps upon rho g plus v, v s square upon rho g now where this hs stands for suction head in meters and ps stands for static pressure and this rho g specific weight that is also denoted or it is equal to rho g and vs is the velocity of fluid so this is regarding suction head now next there is one more concept regarding net positive suction head available positive net positive suction head and required net positive suction head so here the net positive suction head it is the difference between hs minus hv or it will check for it NPSH it is denoted as and it is equal to this so this is also counted in meters so all heads are counted or its unit is meter only in case of a stat norms now next we have net positive suction available net positive suction head and required net positive suction head so whenever we need to pump the water from down to up of course whatever as per the manufacturer catalog the required net positive suction head is equal to should be the available one or available should be equal to or greater than the required one then and then only the water can be lifted 